All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Black Mamba. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch to see. He blocks the punch. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Circling to his right. And he caught the kick. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there. 
using his length exceptionally well tonight. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Big kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, and the volume of leg kicks just... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Just over three minutes to go. Shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Single collar tie out. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really, has got his opponent on notice here. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Nice loop and punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Trying to kick the leg out. Effective strike there by Lee. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Just misses with that big right hand. Big kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Got the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him working. Trying to shut the liver down. Switch the guard, lands the right hand. Real nice body kick lands. Final seconds here in round one. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice kick. Let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. In terms of the knee strikes, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. Just nasty. I mean, just nasty knees. The moment he finds those opportunities to really drive his knee home, drive it into your body, he throws them, and he throws them with absolute force. You ready? You ready? Fight! Stock clip with the right hand. Punch. All right, 
Well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Be first, be first. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Hands higher, hands higher. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Punch over the top. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Just out of range with that right hook. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Three minutes to go. Lee's kick to the body. That one blocks. Nice body. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Beautiful kick. Nice job of hiding that head kick. What a body kick. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Just unable to quite find that range. Big head kick lands. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh! He's out! He got him! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 25 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Black Mamba! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.